working? It seems to be working. We are nice. live. Welcome to the stream. Hello. We are doing something new again. <laughs> um, new to the stream, new to us. not new to our lives. Yeah. Actually, new to our lives in terms of we've never had hot pot at home. Yeah. Um, we've, but we, we've not been bold enough to try to make it ourselves. So this is a you know inaugural run for making hot pot ourselves. Um, but we've had a lot of hot pot over the course of our lives. That's what I meant. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are huge hot pot fans. Hot uh, pot heads. Hot, hot, hot pot heads. <laughs> uh, well, not nearly. Um, you know, we're not good at hot pot. I know there's people that are like actually oh, good at it. So okay. we're not really. I shouldn't be saying that. Yeah, we're not necessarily good at it. Can we start? Oh, yeah, yeah. Food in? Let's let's <laughs> start a... before we get going. This is a little nerve-wracking that all this stuff is very close to computer equipment, electronic equipment, but um, the I'm going to put in the first thing, which is this tofu. Do it. Do it to it. Let's, let's it lost start off a bunch some... of heat. Oh, it did. Yeah, we got we to gotta turn that up. The top was really helping we us are, out here. We were, we're not real hot pot heads if we just botched that i don't think we botched anything the, t the temperature we lost the temperature for but a moment for but, for a, but moment. a moment um we only have one side um yeah uh we we're not ambitious enough to try to take make two broths tonight so we're just making one which one is broth okay night. um but uh yeah so we're just we went the spicy side i typically only eat off the spicy side, so you know. Um, but typically, this has like a broth that's like a milder, milky broth, or not. I don't know if it's milky, but it is like cloudy. Cloudy, yeah. Um, oftentimes, like a fish broth, I think. Um, is or, it fish broth? Oh. Yeah, or it's the fish side. Um, I'm scared of how large these, um... <laughs> yeah. The cabbage we got was the smallest one that they were selling, but they were Oh, all I wonder if we should get huge. some kitchen scissors and, like, so we could cut... Like, actually... I think we're good. They'll cook good. down. They'll cook okay. down. They get smaller. But, um, what did you do, Andrew, to make the... the, um, sauce? Uh, just kind of looked it up online. We bought the hot pot pack, um... And uh, I can't remember the brand of it, but just one of the um, generic ones. And then um, we fried some ginger, some star anise, some cloves, some uh, bay leaves, um, whole garlic, uh, uh, ma. Hi, um, board game feast. Hey, board game feast. What up? I'm excited for your um, stream with the cookies on Friday or Friday, Saturday. Th Saturday. 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 Um, I was wondering, are those shortbread cookies that you're making or sugar cookies? Oh yeah. Also, how's the sound? Because this is a little loud, <laughs> and uh... <laughs> it, I was when we were setting it up, board game feast. We were like, this might get dicey, just because this is a new hot pot machine. Mm -hmm. We 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 um, in it's been like a year of quarantine, and we were like, it's gonna be a couple more months until we can get hot pot, or at least we feel comfortable getting hot pot. So we got ourselves a hot pot um electric hot pot machine um, um but we've never turned it on till today so once we heard it we were like oh it's quite loud we don't know if this is gonna work for a stream but it will work for our bellies not the worst thank you um that's good to know the cookies are are just basic shortbread so people can cook a lot that's really awesome i actually just started watching cook like the cooking channel on twitch and it's been really fun um there's one guy that i really like his name he's actually based out of toronto he worked at different restaurants the one i can remember right now is like momofuku but he um 
it's their restaurant is not i think he's the sous chef and the restaurant isn't open yet they're still waiting for more of canada to open um but he streams like some noodles in there oh yeah yeah he streams um we need some meat chopsticks yes um he streams um like sweet dishes on sundays and um and savory things i think friday night and some things you can he can actually like you can cook along and some like you can't like he sometimes cooks from a cookbook so when i saw that you were doing like a cook along i was like that's so fun and i love that it's just like really um like approachable like easy to get ingredients because i think that's that's so fun we did a cook along with um a grocery like local grocery box um in the area with some friends over zoom and it was really fun um it's just something different to do with people so i love that you're doing that let's just dm in the house hey, welcome over to the food channel <laughs> <laughs> um, um cooking and streaming simultaneously is hard that's why i've never done it yet yeah it's a lot to kind of like um yeah, to have this prepared at the the ti timing it was pretty hard because I had to start making the broth a while ago, but um oh. Oh, you yeah, Andrew started making the broth a while ago while I was taking care of the baby and then Andrew put the baby down and we just kinda tidied up the place. Yeah, the nice thing about hot pot is it's like Andrew was just doing the broth part and then we're just cooking our our meal but mm -hmm. yeah streaming and cooking that's a i was just like i'm already distracted enough playing board games i can't imagine like i don't have yes, very good knife skills either so i'm like ooh. <laughs> also also hot pot is such a social meal mm -hmm. that um it feels weird just having it with two people i know yeah. you there's like personal hot pot in china and uh other parts of asia but um but you never did you ever do the individual hot pot before oh yeah i've done it of course still good but my favorite nights doing hot pot have always been um you know when it's uh with some friends and i joked in our tweet earlier that um oh yeah the cat's in the background that's Musashi. Oh yeah, she is. That, <laughs> she usually doesn't show up in the stream because usually she... that that um, bench is full of like board games or or stuff. But she's enjoying the fact that it's um an open surface for her. Um, but um, board game con board game spam convention for the food man. I um oh board game feast. I saw your speaking of food and board games. I saw your oceans, um, 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 like cookie structure. It was so cool. I am making an oceans, some oceans cookies, um, because that's what we're gonna be playing for TLN. But um, man, I am not ready to. I, my body is not ready to to make a to make a cookie structure. <laughs> I think I've only made one gingerbread house or decorated one gingerbread house in my entire life. I'm not sure, but I would like now that I've tried to make cookies. I definitely would like to try sometime. But um, yeah, Andrew, we've Ooh, used, that's pretty good broth, actually. We've um, we've used hot pot when we like had to really catch up with some friends that we hadn't seen for a while we always suggest hot pot because it's like a four hour meal um, it can be yeah it can be but oh someone's got some, hiccups some spice to that oh you made it you i've made an ocean's cake board game feast i love that you have made so many board game related things you can't remember it yeah it's like I guess it could be a cake, but there was like a cookie, like you did the, sorry, you're gonna have to just go manage that. I was like, we need noodles in here. <laughs> Quick, uh-oh. We have a non-spicy side over here. Um, um, well, that's actually just water. <laughs> because um, we just want to eat from the spicy side. Um, yeah, but Boring Piece, it was, it was like a, like Test kind of, whatever the, um, 
I don't know how to explain it in in oceans where they have the, the, the little like square that you move the fish across. You made that, and it was really cool. Maybe it was a maybe it was a cake, but there's cookie components for the wall, so maybe that's why I thought it was a cookie. It looks really structurally sound. I feel like you could really play with it if you wanted to. <laughs> Oh, this is good. So we use the little, is this the little sheep broth? Or this, is this is not the little sheep oh. broth. Um, I, I noticed little sheep broth, I, I think, is a little bit more prepared um, just out of the package. It has all of the ingredients that you need just in the bag. And so since we, I had already started with the ginger and doing a couple of things, I used the other one, which was just the chili paste, basically. Uh, the... I can go get the pack if people are interested. Oh yeah, um, I'm actually curious. Yeah, Board MP says, yeah, I remember now the population trays in gingerbread. Um, I I know your work better than you do, Board Game Feast. And, um, <laughs> I, I'm becoming your, your biggest fan, or at least the one that has been recently seeing your, I think I searched maybe Oceans on Instagram because I was, the I didn't want to pull in out. The house. Hey, Sorry. Boy. Um, I didn't want to pull out the board game, so I was like, I'll just look up pictures of the board game. And your pictures came up. It was filled with Swedish fish to use in the game. We won a big bag of Swedish fish one time for a birthday party, and it was really great. Mm -hmm. I'm debating, I'm debating on dinner right now. It's 5.07 here. What time is it there? It is- It's 8. It's 8. 8.07, yeah, p.m. Of course. Is, is Hawaii really? Oh, no, no, no. It's 5.07. That makes sense. Yeah, I think it's three hours, three hour difference. Because I remember we're late owls. Um, obviously. Late, late owls. <laughs> late night people. Late night people. Yeah. And uh, we did a vacation to Hawaii with the rest of our family. And most of our family is pretty early to bed. And so uh, the three hour difference meant everyone was getting tired around five or six um they like could maybe push staying awake till seven where uh we were up until a normal time like 11 or something like that and still feeling pretty good <laughs> so our bodies were ready our body was our bodies were ready for the new time zone it just meant we were going to bed at like a reasonable a reasonable hour Ooh. um legends what are what is on the table for you in terms of what are you considering for dinner and mrs boy what did you eat for dinner Ooh. pizza oh my gosh oh, i got it no, 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 pizza, um, um, the Moy and Mrs. Moy are going to... They're on vacation right now. They're on they're vacation. vacation. And they're on our stream. I yeah. feel honored <laughs> that you guys would join us during your vacation. Also, um, whew, the spice for the lettuce leaf, I think I'm going to have, that's going to be my one and only lettuce leaf. Could it, Because it was spicy, yeah. Mm. Andrew always would get sick eating um, Hot Pot because he just goes for... The lettuce, which like Andrew learned from, and we're a, talking about the cabbage here. There's, cabbage, sorry. So, yeah, no, it's okay. Um, he learned from someone in China. They're like, be careful with that. And Andrew's like, why? And then they're like, because that soaks up all the spice. And Andrew's like, that's why I get sick. That's also why I love it. <laughs> <laughs> My dinner gets decided by which bus comes first. Legends, I I like that. I like that. Destiny chooses your dinner. So what are what's the um what are the like options? I guess there could be a couple of options. What's options sound tasty to you today? Pizza is tomorrow, yes. Um Mrs. Moy and the Moy are going to watch Mike Berbiglia, who is a stand-up comedian's um stand-up special that's all about pizza it's just 100 percent pizza jokes and <laughs> i was going to sign up but it's all sold out for tomorrow i completely forgot i think i mrs moy told me about it and i was like what a pizza themed stand-up mm -hmm. and then i just like forgot to finish ordering but we've done we've gone to a couple of gone to meaning it's over zoom it's a very COVID thing to do to go see a stand-up comedian um but I think that was part of the reason why we wanted to do it is for the experience. This is quite spicy. I didn't expect it. Did you put your your own um, peppercorn in there? I or did put I did put my own uh, numbing peppercorns in there. Um, 
but uh, I didn't. I felt like I put it like a moderate amount of spice in it. No, Pia. I know. I'm so bummed out. I like. I think I like. I thought about it so much ordering the tickets to that um, show, and then you know when you think about something so much, and then you think you've done it. I like. I didn't <laughs> do it. Ugh. You gotta um, make sure you're. Oh, you got, you've got noodles. Oh. Mrs. Moy knows the move. We will eat pizza in a hot tub. In a hot tub. In, in a, a hot, hot tub. tub. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We yes. did see when we watched another, um, another, what's it called? Um, stream or like another stand up special with Mike Birbiglia. We said someone's in a hot tub in one of the, because you can decide to keep your camera on or off. So I mentioned that to Mrs. Moy, and she's like, we're going to be the hot tub people. Yes. You know what? The hot tub people looked like they were having a lot of fun. They so probably were having more fun than most. Be the hot tub people of your Zoom comedy special um, event. Mm. How expensive is the setup, by the way? Wondering if I can justify it. This was a question that I had as well, um, Board Game Feast. This unit was 50 bucks. Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars at our local Korean. Um, uh, uh, I think it's a chain. It's Shin Shin, uh, is the name. It's in a. It's a Korean appliance store, but I think you can get an equivalent um, at uh, a lot of different places. This one. It's this one's nice. It's a little safer. It doesn't use the gas canisters, and then it locks in, so it's not. Um, it's electric, and it can't. It's hard to spill, so. Yeah, because we originally were looking for an induction, um, an induction, like portable induction stove. Um, but they were sold out of, at the Korean store, Shin Shin. And then we thought about maybe getting a propane, um, like a single stove propane thing. Because I've also wanted to just do, like just to have that for an option mm. for cooking. But... Um, Andrew made the point that if we need to get propane canisters, we're probably not gonna get it. It's just like an extra step. Mm -hmm. um, and I was a little bit concerned about buying something just for this, like, just for one type of meal. But it's, it is Andrew's favorite meal. And he was like, if we could eat hot pot twice a month, I'm thinking twice a month. Whoa. With this, I feel like That's we would lot. make, we would make up for, um, we would make make up the the money also we're not i mean oh that's a sad thing our big hot pot place in seattle closed, closed. so yeah. that was um you know a uh, little sheep r.i.p it's a, another seattle, international chain but um there's one there was one nearby it's no more there was very another good... business dying due to COVID, unfortunately mm -hmm. but it was a very good place and um, I think there's another hot pot place, but I think it's even further out of our way, so we probably wouldn't go even when things start opening up. So there's one in Tacoma, um, the Tacoma Stitch one, but they don't just do hot pot; they do other things, and then they also do hot pot, which isn't isn't terrible, but yeah, board game piece. I guess everyone is getting into the hot pot game. For them to be sold out yeah that and then yeah and shabu shabu which i've never had but i think it's just like a cleaner like it's a different broth so mm -hmm. different vibe different um broth but yeah a propane tank thing or yeah a propane canister is a little bit risky mm -hmm. and uh, yeah i feel like i've heard people like sit, like have store like health or not health but safety stories and i just feel like one less thing for Andrew and I to safety store. Oh, with hot pot? No, no, no. With like the those like canisters. Got because it. I I liken it to kind of like um, there's a little while where I was getting interested in rock climbing and I was thinking about like doing outdoor rock climbing. We have some friends who do it, but like they meticulously like look through their gear and check for safety. And I'm like, that's I'm not gonna be good at that. I'm not that type of person. Yeah, I'll just rent that. <laughs> Stuff. And it's in the same vein. I don't know if I would be checking it. So this is all electric and all like um, it's super stable. Mm -hmm. But my bigger concern was the size of it. I was like, I don't really know where we're gonna put it. But um, yeah, we might have to get rid of another appliance. <laughs> That's okay. It might be our waffle iron because I can have I, pancakes and <laughs> French toast will fill the same space that waffles do. I don't think we need to get rid of the waffle iron. I did not agree to this. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> oh, You're all making me hungry. What did yeah. you have for dinner? Um, this is the this is the what is it the um, 
maiden voyage. The maiden voyage of mm -hmm. our hot pot. Um, ooh, this is my favorite. Is this? Oh, and this is a really huge piece of mushroom. But you can pull pull it out, and we can break it up. Okay. Um. Yeah, we uh we were inspired to do this on the stream uh, instead of just eating it. One because it's such a social meal. Um, it would feel weird just the two of us having a hot pot together, and then um. Go back, bay leaf. Oh, you took the bay leaf. I'm putting it back. <laughs> just kidding. Um, and then also we we recently discovered the food and drink channel and Twitch. Yeah, Michelle, if this is making you hungry, don't go over there to the food and, it's and dangerous. drink channel. There's there was a guy, uh, we started following him. He's a Korean guy. He doesn't speak any English, so we, he's just chatting with uh, people in well, Korea. So it's like... Mukbang oh, yeah, yeah. is a thing or whatever. I don't. I'm totally botching that. But anyways, he just had like a soup and all this food around him, and he was just snacking and talk talking. We're like, that looks like so much fun. He so, was just in his kitchen yeah. eating, and the, he's like this close to the bowl. <laughs> and Andrew was like, I was like, oh man, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable. Our kitchen's kind of messy, and Andrew's like, this is the best thing ever. He's having the best life. Yeah. But, um, He's just eating really good food, chatting with people. Michelle, there is another guy. His name on Twitch is Ice Guy Nico, and he's a Filipino chef in um, based out of Toronto. And he was like making mango peach hand pies, um, kind of like Jolly Bee um, style. And then he made, he just makes like, he does savory on Friday nights and then sweet dishes on um, Sundays. And sometimes he does cook alongs where he uses like a cookbook that some people may or may not own. So he was cooking out of the Momofuku um, cookbook, but I'm like obsessed with it now. There, he's That's not a great even, stream. It is, it's really great. And he definitely- Money Josh in the house. Money Josh, hey. Ooh, we'll have to check him out. Yeah. Ice guy. He makes a lot of ice cream. That's why he, um, but he's a Filipino guy. And it's just funny because his chat, he was talking about what Filipino food he was going to make. And he's like, I don't know if I should make like, um, kare kare or, and then someone was like, Bicol Express. And then everyone was jumping in. They're like, Bicol Express, Bicol Express. And he was like, are you all Filipino? <laughs> <laughs> Which I had Beagle Express for the very first time in Washington D.C. because um, it's that's a really regional dish um, and it's really good. So I want him to make it. <laughs> I'm gonna get yeah, some I'm snacks. snacks. <laughs> oh, I need to read you all who are here in his chat. They were talking because he it's like he's only done nine streams because he's like their restaurant isn't opened up yet in Canada. Um, because the they're still waiting for the restaurants to open up and they tried take home food But their food just isn't well suited which is like I think that's so hard if your food just like you can't even Like you're, you're kind of compromising the integrity of your food mm -hmm. Because it's not really takeout food and it's just an interesting balance I I can't imagine having to kind of deal with that and trying to stay afloat mm -hmm. um, but I was reading the chat I, I screenshotted it because I thought it was so funny. Um, let me find it. Where is it? Oh, shoot. Photos, screenshots. It, I was dying. I just kept laughing. So, um, Nico in the... Um, where did I send it there? Is this it? Oh, Have you been getting gosh. enough meat? And, and um, no. I don't know where, where the meat's been. You got it. Maybe... Focus Ooh. before I eat it all. Okay. You, you're gonna need to. Um. Let's see. Where did it go? Maybe I saved it in. Um. Did I screenshot it here? Oh my gosh! I thought it was so funny. It must be here. Now I'm like looking for it. Who have I become? I'm screenshotting. Um. Random. <laughs> Chats from Twitch. Yeah, it was so funny. When did I start watching this thing? This was a couple days ago, I think. Oh, this is killing me. How did I watch it and where would it be? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna botch it. Keep talking. Also, Andrew. this is a lot of food. <laughs> I was like, 
I mean, we kind of got the minimum that we could of each ingredient, but we might have to have hot pot again sometime soon, just to make mm -hmm. sure that we get through all the or use the vegetables to do something else. I don't know. The meat will keep because it's frozen. Yeah, and it's like the thin sliced, pretty thin sliced. It means um, it'll never go bad. Did I text it to you, Andrew? No, you just told me about it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. Story time. I'm with just Pia. gonna story time with Pia. I'm just gonna recount it. So, Ice Guy, Nico, Chef, like. He was asking, has anyone seen a major fail on the food and drink channel of Twitch? And someone was like, yo, I saw someone um, trying to make bagels. And then um, Nico was like, oh, that's like really tough to make. And they're like, them things fell like bricks. And he's like, oh no, she, she didn't proof them if they were like sinking. And he's like, and then he, he was like, it was horrible. And it, like the whole chat was like talking about it. And then the person was like, and she never streamed since. <laughs> and it just like, it made me feel really bad because she was streaming and it was, I mean, it's hard to stream and cook, mm -hmm. but the them thing fell like bricks just killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Legends DM. Legends DM is on bus A. Choices are burgers, pizza, chicken fingers, sub sandwiches, bus 1L, pasta, poke, Korean, Chinese, Mexican, oh. spam. Go oh. 1L, 1L. At Atomic jukebox. Oh dang, hot pot. I'm on bus A. Okay. <laughs> Chat, let's discuss. Oh, oh, okay. Let's discuss you already Legends made your choice. DM. Legends DM is on a bus, and this is his food choices based off of. Um, Burgers, pizza, chicken fingers, sub sandwiches. That all sounds pretty good. Oh yeah. I feel like a good sub sandwich sounds sounds tasty. These are all like food you eat with your hands. <laughs> I mean, with your like finger food. You eat all food usually with your. That's a that's a great observation. I guess the other ones are Ooh, mm -hmm. are not. Board Game Feast says, depends on the quality of burgers and pizza. True. Are we talking like McDonald's burgers or are we talking gourmet burger or... What's your budget? <laughs> are you looking to spend a lot of money on food or... What's up, Book of Nerds? We are trying to... <laughs> what tastiness is going on? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to help Legends DM decide what to have for dinner. It was based on what bus he's on and he's currently on bus A. Bus A is near the college. Mm -hmm. Uh, Booger Nerds, we are, uh... Oh, Olympian is reading! What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hi, Olympian! <Hot> Bus stream. <laughs> Welcome to... Welcome to the stream, Olympian! <laughs> and uh, yeah, oh, here it is. This is our raid idol, and the raid idol... Oh, this is a talk. The raid idol <laughs> welcomes Olympian and all the fellow raiders! We, so we are Board Game Spam. I'm yeah, Andrew. I'm Pia. And we stream uh, Mondays and Thursday nights at 8. Board um, games, but this is our new purchase. Yeah, <laughs> so we were like, let's stream Hot Pot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> just because we uh, we just found the, the food and drink channel on uh, Twitch as well, and we've been enjoying a couple of those channels. So we're like, let's give it a try. Uh, we're, we're cooking the... Andrew did... He used a mix, but then he also added extra spices to the spicy side. And mm -hmm. it's very spicy. Um, I'm trying to stay away from the cabbage because it soaks up the spice a lot. But um, we originally thought we mm. would play P for pizza while um, eating. Speaking of cabbage. But we um, are just 100% eating and talking right now. But thank you for joining. What were you playing over on Olympian stream? And how did it go? And what did everyone eat for food today? Mm. Um, I had, uh, for breakfast, I had fried rice and then some mapu tofu for lunch. And now I'm having um, hot pot. Dexterity game, find the meat, avoid the cabbage. <gasps> oh. <Board> game beast. <laughs> <laughs> That's Pia's game. Mine is find the cabbage, don't get sick in the morning. Yeah, you gotta pace yourself with the cabbage. Yeah. Someone someone um, taught Andrew a very important lesson about why he was getting sick from too much spice and it's because he was all about the fibrous cabbage that gets all the spicy part. 
Yeah. What kind of meat? We are eating pork, pork and um, lamb. Pork and lamb. Mm -hmm. And it's like frozen and pre-cut, really, really thin sliced at our local Korean store. Was it, is it H Mart that we went to? Or Pongo yeah, World? Yeah, okay. H Mart's not necessarily local. It's a big national chain, but. Uh, local to us. <laughs> the local H Mart for us. Um, hot, hot the board game. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's, we've talked about it before, but Hot Pot is the board game of meals. If you really think about it, which is really hard. Um, that or, uh, I, and eating family styles is mostly the board game of meals. But. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm checking the channel. Hi, May and Ubiquitous42. Um, yes, you do need Hot Pot in your life, Book of Nerds. We were talking about how this, actually Benita was actually talking about this, about how like, what are you looking forward to once things open up? And we were saying how Hot Pot and like, um, Hot Pot and, um, uh, what is it? Korean barbecue, like the long meals. I feel like that's going to be one of the last things that we can, that might open up. And so mm -hmm. we were like taking matters into our own hands and got ourselves a Hot Pot. <laughs> pot. Hot Pot, hot. Electric <laughs> Hot Pot, hot. But, Legends, um, I am usually willing to spend eight to fifteen dollars per dinner. Yeah, that was something that I, I think when we were when, I I've only been to Hawaii one time, and and I think it's it's a lot of things get um, um shipped into Hawaii, right? So it's it like food increases is, the price increases a bit. the price. Yeah. But also I think it depends on if you're like a tourist, you're you have to be. You have to know the right places to go. I feel like that's the yeah. Thing. So uh, we were talking to uh, Legends DM for everyone who joined us. Uh, he is deciding what to get to dinner for dinner. He's on the bus right now, going to a destination that has pizza, subway sandwiches, uh, burgers. It's on the line. Um, and um, sub sandwiches. Did we say that? Yeah, sub sandwiches. We're giving so, the replay. That's what yeah. the, the raid hey. idol is supposed to tell you, the replay. Yeah, so we're all deciding together. <laughs> we're uh, helping him decide what to get. Yeah. Um, um, chicken fingers is the other option. Yeah, let My vote is for the sub sandwich. I just haven't had one for a while, so that sounds good to me. But Le Legends DM has his own agency in this. We can still, as a chat, suggest it. Yes, chat should definitely suggest it, though. <laughs> I feel like if we knew how to do a poll, we should definitely do a poll for Legends. Where Ooh, Legends I'll set up a go. poll. Um, I love um, uh, Atomic Jukebox says spicy side always. Yes, Atomic Jukebox. We only fill this with water just so that the thing doesn't burn, but this is an exclusively spicy side um, endeavor. All right, I'm making a poll. This is our first poll we've ever done. Um, for Legends DM, Legend DM's dinner. <laughs> um, what? All right, you keep chatting now. Chicken fingers. I'm about two minutes before I get off the bus, though. Uh oh. You need to hurry up. Let's see if Andrew can figure out how to do this poll before. I'm sure that we could just read it in the chat, but actually, I was in um, More Games Please's um, chat or channel the other or earlier today, and he was throwing up polls so quick and easy, and he was like, I do not acknowledge the chat. I only go off of the polls. Okay, it's a two, two minute, minute poll. It's a two minute poll. Get your suggestions in. This actually kind of reminds me of another stream that I was in. I think it was Bonzinators, and someone was trying to get um, a free donut, a free donut on St. Patrick's Day, and they were updating the chat because they were in line and they thought the donut place would close before um, they could get in. So, all right, we got these udon noodles over here. We got to get in there. <laughs> Although, I'm going to have to slow down at some point because I may or may not have room for either one of those. Atomic Jukebox. I didn't notice. I, do, I don't know why people do non-spicy hot pot. That's, it's, that's something that Andrew always wonders as well. <laughs> because... I mean, I understand that some people don't like spicy food, but... I Yeah, I just... Every, every bite is always uh, it's on the spicy side for me. Yeah, Andrew did a good job of adding a lot more um, um, ma. Is it ma? Oh, That's legends, I did a Z instead of an S by accident. <laughs> <laughs> legends DM. 
Okay, I will send a picture to your Discord when I get the food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, what did everyone- I didn't see people- oh wait, Book of Nerds, did you vote for chicken fingers or did you eat chicken fingers today? Mm. Andrew put a red light in the background just to emphasize that we're eating spicy hot pot today. Mm -hmm. Andrew, what do you think about your spice level that you made this? Do you think it's good? Do you feel like there's room for improvement? Maybe a little room for improvement. I think we made the broth too early and so then we had to water it down a bit mm. to get it to this point and so I if I got this at a restaurant I'd give it like a 7 out of 10 it's good it could be better but it's our first try so I you know we're, we'll work on it <laughs> all right the poll has ended legends DM is off the bus okay uh 50 percent said pizza <laughs> so it sounds like it's pizza but listen to your own heart, Legends. Um, yeah, you're beholden to this, by the way. You did sign a contract. <laughs> no contract was signed. Uh, so, you know, chat says pizza. Let us know what you, what your heart, where your heart brings you. Oh man, there were, at, in our chat the other day, someone was talking about they had to decide between buying a board game or eating lunch. This kind of feels a little bit similar of like... <laughs> <laughs> he said he's getting pizza. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> I'm mm. getting my usual pizza. Listen to the poll. <laughs> I voted for chicken fingers because I didn't know what they are. <laughs> um, they are the jar. fingers of chickens, Brooke of Nerd. No, they are not. Uh, they're just chicken strips, right? That's right, right, Legends? Hey, Book of Nerds! I have had chicken feet. It's, that's good. Um, Andrew is a fan of chicken feet. I will have, like, one in every order, but I won't have very much. Andrew usually finishes it. Hi, Brain in a Jar! We are... We got this electric hot pot um, machine, and so... And we've been watching the Food Channel on Twitch, and we were inspired to do um, some cooking. <laughs> but not, I guess, I mean, I guess this is cooking. It's cooking and eating. It's a very long meal, so we figured we would chat with people. And and we are also influencing Le Legend's um, dinner. He was on a bus, and we told him where, or what he should get when he got off the bus. Um. Hooray for peer pressure. <laughs> yes, Flo. <laughs> Atomic Jukebox says chicken feet are a lot of work for little reward. That is a fair criti true. criticism. They are a decent amount of work. If you don't like bone-in chicken, you won't like chicken feet. Um, they are mm. more work than bone-in chicken. Mm -hmm. But it's just so satisfying to suck it all off the oh little fingers. <laughs> Andrew loves chicken feet, and this is not, okay. This I is like not chicken feet. Ironically, yeah. I think you love. I would say you love it because compared to most people. Well, it does two in things. In North America, it, yeah, it does two things. They taste good. Um, and then when we bring our friends who've never had them, uh, I always like it's seeing their faces. It's a bonding experience. Yeah, I like seeing their faces when it comes out. <laughs> Which like... is like hot pot. Hot pot is a bonding experience. We were talking earlier about how we suggest hot pot with friends that we want to catch up with. I'm going like to get round two of the meat. Yeah. Um, like friends that we haven't seen for a while because it's like a th it can be a two to three hour meal. And it's one of the meals in the U.S. that I feel like they don't pressure you to get out super quick because... They know it's a long meal, but... Oh yeah, have never seen Food Twitch, but now I'll have to check it out. Yes, I don't know how we accidentally got to Food Twitch, um, but check out a guy named um, Ice, like cold, like cold ice, Ice Guy Nico. Um, he's a chef based out of Toronto. And he does like sweet desserts. He makes a lot of ice cream with like pastries or sweet things on Sundays. And then, um, and then like savory things usually on Saturday or not Saturday, Friday night. Um, but I was watching him before he even started and I knew he was a chef. I was looking at his like workstation and how he was moving. I was like, this guy knows what he's doing because he's keeping it like really clean and tidy. And then he mentioned that he's like a sous chef. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, it makes sense now. Because if I streamed, 
anything that I cooked, it would it'd be like a it would be such a mess. Like I I would I feel stressed out for the people watching me cook because I like don't really keep things very organized. <laughs> I'm in the pizza place. Legends, I love these updates. <laughs> Now we have to, we also have to find out what type of pizza Legends got. And how many slices of pizza are you getting? You don't have to disclose that, um, Legends, but I'm curious. Um, we... I usually can eat about... Two to three slices. All right, bye, Board Game Feast. Thanks for dropping in and being part of our experimental stream and letting us know about our audio. We are aware that it's the audio is not super great because this machine's quite loud, but we really wanted to eat and chat. <laughs> Board Game Feast is also um, streaming a uh, cook-along but he's doing some calico cat baking. And I Ooh. would I would try to do a shout out, but I don't know how to do that specifically. Uh, but... Just do exclamation point, S-O, and then his name. S-O, for those still here. Or exclamation point, S-O, yeah. All right, we got more meat. Uh-oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I did it. Is that right? I don't know if I did that right. Maybe that's right. Yep, that looks no, great. Or is it supposed to be one word? I think nope. it's one word. No, you, you did great. It may or may not have worked. Uh, oh yeah, Borgian Feast is I supposed to that. be one word. That's yeah. what I thought. Learning how to do things. Uh, the other thing that we could improve is our sesame sauce yeah our, uh there we go it worked okay don't follow that one person the i'm just bored <laughs> or maybe follow them yeah See, who maybe knows? they got a great stream we have no um, idea we cannot vouch for them atomic ju jukebox i shamefully overeat pizza i rationalize it by telling myself it won't reheat <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be good we gotta eat it now um what veggies did you get andrew for this um Oh, sorry, you took a big bite. We uh, we got Napa cabbage, baby bok choy. Baby bok um, choy? We got wood ear. And, I love wood ear um, mushrooms. Oh, what are the name of these mushrooms? The long ones. Oh my gosh. I can I can imagine them in video Inoki? games. Inoki? In it, maybe. We got these. Um, Is anyone familiar with <laughs> Morels, the board game? One of our early board games, two player, really great game. <laughs> the boy, the boy, why are you ignoring the other side of the hot pot? It is just water. It's straight it's up water. It's for show, it's for show. <laughs> it's so that this thing doesn't like, ex like burn because there's nothing in the other side. Yeah. But we didn't want to have two pots, so having the option to do two different broths is also important. Morels, yes, bring it in a jar. Yeah, we um, took Morel, we got Morels and played it like, played so much of it. It was an early buy for us. We went on a trip to Vashon Island. I felt like Morels was very on brand with Vashon, <laughs> if you're familiar with those who are from the Pacific Northwest. But it was always in our car because it was just like such a good little game when you catch yourself with mm -hmm. extra time. It is, and we've borrowed it out to a few people. Already. Yeah, I don't even think we know where it is. Yeah, now. our copy, I think, might just be with someone else. <laughs> been rehomed. Um, also, Brain Jar, where did you guys come from? Uh, if you haven't been in the Northwest forever, I want to go hunting for them now that I'm in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, here is here's a a Pia regret story. So I used to work in a hospital. Oh. This work. is this is a bad one. I used to work at a hospital in inpatient rehab, and I had a client who um, was there, and he was like a big like mushroom hunter. I don't know if there's a term for that, but mushroomite. 
Um, but he, like, drew on a napkin, like, a specific spot at a couple of par- like, at a couple of parks that he recommended, and he told me everything. He's like, go two days after it rains, you go past this thing. It felt like a treasure map, but also I just didn't- I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be just venturing out to, I, to look for this. It almost is like, um, what's the- what's that? Like, um- geocaching it felt like geocaching where, where it was just very minimal information and andrew was so mad at me that i didn't keep this napkin well so the things she's the details she's not saying this guy was like 90 years old and had been mushrooming in the northwest his entire life and so he was like a mushroom master he was and a he mushroom did, master and <gasps> and you you he gave you his secrets. He was like, I trust you. I'm going to give you my my best spots. And in the garbage. It no wasn't respect. in the garbage. I don't think I actively like <laughs> threw it away. I think I, I had like a very long work day. I'm probably trying to work with him. And he's probably off task trying to draw me. You threw it away in front of him? Mushroom app. No, I didn't. <laughs> That's but even I, worse. I probably placed it on my desk. And at the hospital, we have like a full shared desk. And I'm sure someone thought it was like just um, like garbage and threw it away. Mm. I it was my fault because I didn't really well manage the piece of the napkin, but um, I didn't know the gold that I was sitting on yeah. basically. Uh, Brandon Jar says that they came from Baltimore mm. uh, last March. Wow! Right, right, right at the start. I I hope you've met some people while you're here because <laughs> uh, that's a tough time to move to a new location. But oh yeah! Welcome to everything. welcome to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> well, here, ha happy one year anniversary um, of you being in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. Mushroom hunting totally feels like a treasure hunt, and people um, that won't share their secrets—it's true. It's highly um, it's highly guarded information. Um, and then I started seeing that there were like webinars of like m like mushroom like hunting and like techniques or like strategies. And I just felt so dumb for getting, for, for losing that napkin. I don't really know if I would probably be able to like understand what he's told me to because it's like all verbally um, like um, passed on to me and I'm like trying to do my own paperwork. Like I'm, I'm working, <laughs> I'm not just hanging out with this person. I mean, those are all fair points, but <laughs> if we had could have just tried. We, yeah, I think that would have been something that would have been fun to just try. Yeah. I would want someone to check our, our work before we eat them, though, because I know mushrooms can be scary. Yeah. Oh, oh, Legends has the update. I got a pizza with onions, pepperoni, salami, and garlic. Ooh, that sounds really good. That sounds really good. I love garlic. Um, and I love onions. And I love all of those things, actually. There's nothing, there's a hundred, that's a hundred percent for me, that, that choice. Um, I can eat four normal slices of pizza usually in one sitting. How many slices would you say you would eat in one sitting? And that means like, you're not eating like breadsticks and other things. Oh, yeah, four sounds right. That's at least what I want to do. <laughs> If they're like uh, by the slice or something like that, then less. Usually those are bigger slices. Mm -hmm. It was the worst moving in the pandemic, and yes, we're excited to start looking for a game group now that we are vaccinated. Oh, that's awesome! We are halfway done from be or halfway done, halfway vaccinated. And again, for those who are coming, sorry for the noise interference. The, the boiling um, will not be silenced. Legends, oh wait, I'll let Andrew read that, Legends. Um, I could easily eat four slices, yeah. Usually Andrew buys like a bunch of other things with our pizza and then I end up eating not pizza, I'm like eating like breadsticks and like wings and whatnot. <laughs> I'm Legends tempted by the add-ons always. <laughs> um, Legends said something to you, Andrew. Uh, Uh, Andrew, your picture on TLN, the scenery was nice in that pic. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, we are, uh, speaking of TLN, uh, that's Tabletop Live Network. We are part of the network, uh, now. 
first time for us. Uh, and they do 24 hour streams once a month. We're in this one, we're not in the next one, but I'm sure we'll be in them from time to time. Generally, the purpose of the streams is just to grow the board game community um, on Twitch, specifically, and then also for people just to, like, as a viewer, for everyone to just meet new streamers. Um, so there, uh, if there's 24 hours, every two hours there's a new group of streamers that come in, there's a lot of people that are collaborating with different streams, so you'll meet maybe sometimes two or three streamers in one stream, and then... Um, and you meet a bunch of streamers and people in the chat, too. Like, yes, I feel like yeah. I found a bunch of new streamers that I was just interacting with in chat. So that is on Saturday. Yeah. And we are we are going at 8 p.m., right? On Saturday. Mm -hmm. And we're playing Oceans, um, which we only just played for the first time recently, but really enjoy. Um, and are really excited to stream it. Um, I feel like oftentimes the the more popular types of games are always the oftentimes the really nice games, and we like that oceans can have a little bit of bite to it, a little meanness. So uh, we uh, we enjoy that part of board games, um, mostly with friends. When we're with strangers, uh, a nice friendly euro uh, with less interaction is is very fun. But um, or if we've just just meeting people, but. Typically, I like mean games because it means I'm playing with my closest friends uh, and I can trust that they'll still be friends no matter how devious I am. So <laughs> <laughs> It's when Andrew gets to exercise his like most, um, his, his like the meanest parts of him, which it's funny because it's um, Moy who's in chat. He is the reciprocating end of the Andrew is only mean to his closest friends type of um, um <laughs> I don't know, pattern, I guess? Yeah. Although oh. I do know it does affect uh, the Moy more than, than it, not not anyone. Yeah. But hey, he's very Benita. competitive. What's up? Oh, Benita follows. Oh, so we're, we're still doing analog alerts. We might be eating, but uh, we're doing analog alerts still. Benita, uh, this is Dr. Alan Grant. He comes over and he says, hey, thanks for coming to dinner. I love Hot Pot as well as Andrew and Pia. And uh, I have my own tiny little bowl over there because I'm much too small to eat out of this thing. So uh, I'll go back to eating over there, but thanks for the follow, Benita. This is his tiny bowl. Oh. Um, this is an actual toy that Andrew um, grew up. Can we set this up here? Playing with. <laughs> the Moy, he so mean to me. Yeah, Moy, you are on the the receiving end of, of Andrew is mean to his only his friends, his closest friends. You know, if I'm mean to you in a game, it just means I like you. That's true. You've reached a level with Andrew um, where he feels like his friendship, your friendship can weather the, the mean moves. <laughs> uh, question for the chat. Do you guys like mean games? Can you not stand them? Are you willing to play them, or are they dependent on the people? Usually, yeah. it's dependent on the people. Mm -hmm. I think something that I do like about mean games, in terms of like, have you been getting meat? Yes. Okay. Yeah, cool. I, it is like that. Play gets allows you to like exercise different parts of you, or like. So usually, I think sometimes people think my my, my mean moves are targeted, but usually. There's probably a, a nicer move that's better stra strategically, but I don't see it, and I just see the the mean move, and so <laughs> it's nothing to do with the other person, and usually related to my my level of strategy. Legends got legends. How's your pizza? How does it? Do you eat it? Are you eating it on location? Or are you taking it home? Benita and those who are new, we are on a journey, not only eating hot pot, but also on a journey with Legends as he picks up yeah, he's um, been, dinner. He's been traveling. He's got his dinner now. I think uh, we we with with our with the power of our pull, we helped him decide we to get pizza. Although we didn't decide which pizza. That would be that, a very complex pull to make. Yeah. <laughs> Legends gets to decide that part. He also got to decide whether or not he needed to get pizza. That was still his choice. Um, Benita says, I love mean games, but only with friends who can handle it. Yeah, I think some of the craziest stories I have with board games that we talk about, um, not every board game needs to be like something we talk about, but the um, 
are like games with like um, mean moves that happened because it's usually something usually it's an upset in terms of someone who mm. isn't usually mean pulls something off or and I don't even know if means the word like one of my favorite board game memories is like in dead of winter just um being the betrayer and being a good doing a good job because usually i'm a really bad like secret i don't know like hidden roles i'm really bad at it and i actually pulled it off um she's but throwing away our medicine the whole game i was, it was messed up throwing away the medicine and everyone was just <laughs> sick hurt in pain um but I remember that still because it was it was pretty mean. It was like that. It's that social tension. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Also, the moist says I deserve it because I constantly put the table focus on Andrew. He's winning. Stop him. <laughs> that is that is a classic Derek move or <laughs> Moy move. Um, mean games are better when all the players are on the same level for the game. For me, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, if there's anyone not ready for the game to be mean. Um, it can really sour the experience. Yeah. I've ha we've had those experiences too. Mm -hmm. and Cosmic Encounter is one that there's so much love for it, but it's such a situational game. You really have to have the perfect group to do it because I've had some games turn bad. Well, I think part of it too was you were still early playing board games, so sometimes it's hard to even know. Like so someone, like it will say on board game geek or whatever like oh this can be whatever but it's kind of hard to know until you kind of test it out and you're like oh this is how this interacts or mm -hmm. this is how rules can be misunderstood um yeah but um i'm i'm someone i i think it was on more meeples and merrier so, someone was mentioning how like they don't like it when when um spouses or like significant others are never mean to their significant other i was like who yeah who, who does that well who does that but also Just i was wondering i feel like every like couple that we know like they're tougher on their they're, significant other than anyone else so at maybe, least more competitive with them mm -hmm. yeah andrew definitely <laughs> gets a, has to do a lot more defending um instead of i i do not cooperate with andrew well <laughs> Hi, time roller! Yummy times! Yes, we are trying out something new. Um, and we're having a late dinner. Um, but the nice thing about it is you can just start eating and you can eat for hours. Uh, time roller says cosmic is a little better because who you attack is random, so there's less inks. That is true. Oh, yeah, yeah that's true. That is a good design part of it. Um, the issues actually that have come up in our games have been more around the interpretation of the player powers and uh you know parts of the table misunderstanding or thinking it's one way and then different way for other players um and so there's just so many player powers at the table that it's hard to fully understand all of them so it was an understandable mistake but it definitely led to some hurt feelings hurt feelings i got <laughs> hurt feelings um, I won as the traitor once in Shadows over Camelot. I had a healing card and everyone knew it. The team asked why, or asked ready for you to heal me. I smiled and said, sorry, not healing you. And the whole team was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> those are some, I feel like those reveals are just so, like, they're so crazy. It's like stuff that I always remember. Mm -hmm. um, we usually play those games mostly with my, my cousins in the Philippines. Um, time roller. Oh, yes. Atomic Jukebox. Same thing with the closest Andrew mentioned earlier. I am I am close with my SL, so I feel most comfortable attacking them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I... I um, that's definitely... I think that's the way... That was kind of the gateway of, like, how I ended up learning to like those type of games. Um, and then we have a... We have a friend that, um, a, who they're not, I don't think I've seen them, but um, um, Duke and Rectangles, and they, like, they'll always say if there's a move in which I am, it's a kind of mean move, they're like, I hate you, but I respect you, and I was like, okay, I... Respect hate is respect great. Respect hate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just gotta get to a certain level with people that way, and you just gotta, it takes a while to find those people. Totally. Um, but 
Because yeah. not everyone is necessarily good at self-reporting that they're good at mean games. They're good at taking mean things. <laughs> oh, that's true. Self-report about how you can yeah. handle mean games. Well, and usually I think that's the thing. I definitely know, like I like mean games, but I also know that sometimes it's too much tension. Like if it's a long mean game, I'm like, I don't like being in that space for very long. Mm -hmm. um, so... I'll play most mean games, but if it's gonna be a longer one, I'm like, I like to be in the same this in the same room as the mean game, but I might sit out. Um, and I think that's Ooh. knowing yourself and knowing like ah, this might not be the group to play it with. <laughs> well, I know um, that's one of the issues with um, what do they call it? Uh, game of Thrones, the board game, which I would love to play one of these days, but it is I think like a four hour game, and you can have like a a one and a half hour plan get totally messed up by someone uh, oh. because they betray you which feels bad um like that makes sense but uh yeah you going into an experience like that you definitely need to know if you're the type of person who has their plan pulled out from underneath them after an hour or if two. you can rise from the ashes <laughs> yeah. oh um um time roller had to oh yeah time roller uh we had a we had that problem for a long time in uh, my game group, one guy was the only friend of the, uh, one guy was only the friend of the host, and he was very shy. He would only, uh, make deals or attack him, and everyone knew it and could take advantage of it. <laughs> <laughs> Respectators are the others watching go down. Yes. <laughs> I like that. That's a really good term. I like that. Ooh, hydrate. From the Moy. We're doing yeah. wingman brewers. To, oh, I am. And two town cider. Yeah, the um, yeah, that's a <laughs> res respect haters. Legend of Doom said I made a board game for my friends, and it was one versus many. It was a co-op to defeat our friend, but I made him over too overpowered, and he destroyed us, so it backfired. <laughs> but it was fun. That's good. Yeah, time roller. Yep, uh, Game of Thrones. The board game is definitely a long take that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the I think I think I'm realizing that our mean games like we don't play as often because again it's like kind of more restricted to the right group or like the enjoyability is more related yeah. to the group. But and they're definitely memorable. But I think when it comes to like just day to day games, it'll tip, I typically don't pick uh, a mean a mean game. Yeah, and I think. Um... I prefer to play mean games at at least four, if I can, four players. Um, just because with three players, you can kind of easily get into the uh, two people bashing one person. Or, you know, whether or not it's real, uh, it can feel that way. Oh, like ganging Very, up. Yeah, just oh. because there's always, an at some level, out. an odd person out. Got it. So if two people are friendly during a minute, you feel like you're left out. Like... So four, I feel like, just kind of keeps the the interactions fluid a little bit more, and mm. you can team up with one person, and no one's feeling, like, mad about that, because, you know, they're not. So. Odd, odd numbers in mean games can be rough, yeah. Cherry Pepsi here. Yeah, the, um... Yeah, I, I don't know what we... Yeah, mean game. it's always... Oh, you know what? I think I, I didn't really think about mean games very much until I started watching Board Game Twitch and, and been, like, more um, part of board game conversations because it's usually kind of a topic Andrew is um, reading about but doesn't really have a whole lot of people to, like, interface with. But I'm realizing because it's usually just the two of us playing a lot of games like i'm like oh can we play that and andrew's like oh it's a negotiation game like oh how about this like, that's an auction game and i'm like oh i just want to play like those are the games that are off the table right now and suddenly i just really want to play them <laughs> <laughs> i used to play eight player magic drafts where everyone buys their packs but the people played king of the hill so after three rounds the winner takes all the cards like takes them forever? I would guess, yeah. T Whoa! Takes them forever? I'm not super familiar with with magic, so that might be a really basic question. But. Yeah. There's a three player game that's been on my shelf of disappointment or shelf of discovery or I feel like is if there was a word that was between disappointment and discovery. 
I would Andrew, be really excited because I keep I keep moving. I'm disappointed because I haven't convinced anyone to play this game yet. But I'm also excited to discover what it's like. Anyways, Anyways. any suggestions in the chat would love that. But um, the games I haven't played. Uh, what was I saying about that? I don't know. That was your. I got distracted by my own <laughs> brain. Um, we did take a friend to Hot Pot one time, and he was a very eager, excited person, but he did not understand that you should eat, you should put the food in the secondary well, mm. and then from there the, let it cool. The cooling hold. Because he was, like, trying to do this move, and we're mm. like, don't do it, don't do <laughs> so it. so hot. Oh, I remember what I was saying. Three-player games. I've had this game for quite a while. I'll be back. Shelf of Opportunity takes them, or, yeah, three-player games are a gem if you can find them. What's your favorite three-player games, chat? That's a, that's an interesting. So if anyone recognizes this, Three Kingdoms Redux, it's a three-player only game. Um, wait, before where you, you play in. the, wait, hold on. Oh. Um, hi, Tail Wagon Games. Thanks for joining us. Um, anyways, keep going. Uh, three player only game. It's long. It takes just the perfect storm to even ever get played. Uh, I've had it probably for two years and opportunities have come and gone to play it. Um, what inevitably happens is I start planning something, maybe for my birthday or whatever. I'm like, oh, three people, that's great. And then I'm like, oh, but then this other person could come. And then I start inviting more people. And ultimately, it doesn't happen. So, uh, <laughs> that's my story of three-player games. <laughs> I have played Churchill, though. That's another three-player only game. Shuffle opportunity, yeah. The food looks yummy. Thank you. It is, and it tastes yummy. It looks yummy, and it tastes yummy. Mm-hmm. Um, I realized the nice thing about this meal is that Andrew prepared the broth while I was taking care of our baby. Then Andrew put the baby down to bed and then I just kind of cleaned up for the day and then we've gotten a chance to eat and chat mm -hmm. it's like a perfect little combo of because the way our apartment is set up whoever's cooking is just like completely separated from the rest of mm -hmm. like the house so it always feels like and now I'm gonna do my alone time of <laughs> cooking which I like alone time but this is like a nice thing that you can kind of cook and eat just like Korean barbecue, which is what I was talking to um, Benita about earlier. Mm. Um, and how good Korean barbecue is. Um, so we were talking a little bit earlier about Tabletop Live Network this weekend, but anyone who's planning on watching, um, are you planning on trying to set up a game and play along, or uh, I know we've done that in the past. We tried to play Cubic Toast last time while we were watching. Yeah, but... while while Book of Nerds was playing, but then our kid had their own plans, and so we got Cubitos set up. fully set up on the table, and then we watched Book of Nerds play <laughs> on his stream. So I was like, <laughs> okay, well, this we got halfway there. But let us know if you guys have any plans to uh, play Benita, along. Or... Benita has a fun plan. She's going to a vineyard. Not to watch the stream, but to go to a vineyard, which sounds so good. <laughs> I'm so jealous. That would be, that just seems like, like on a nice day oh, at man. a vineyard outside. Oh. Uh, Benita, <laughs> she says, I miss, miss, miss car, uh, BBQ. <laughs> oh, and then time roll. Co-op games work. Uh, Three-player battle games and area control don't normally work. Uh, yeah. Most others work well, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I really like area control, and that's always something that Andrew's like, okay, we'll learn it, Pia, two-player, just so that I... Because I don't like learning new games. Mm -hmm. So I try to learn it with the two of us so I have a good attitude when we actually play it with more people. <laughs> but <laughs> the... Um, Kumi's it, here. It's a, it's a bummer because I'm like, oh... This isn't really how it's meant to be played. It's like a two, just a two-player game. Like tomorrow, we're gonna be playing um, Godfather with our friend Big Heap Wampum, and we played Godfather two-player, and it was fine. But 
I think it's gonna have a little bit more zing to it when there's mm -hmm. more people. But again, I understand that it's not gonna be the best experience since it's just the two of us. It's it's mostly like a chance to learn it so that then I'm more willing to play it because I've already learned it. But mm. hey, Kumi, hot, hot, on the, the floor. The Godfather, hot, yeah, we hot, have- hot. show me some more. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's what those that's what those emotes mean. You oh, gotta yeah. sing it. <laughs> I mean, I guess I saw the notes. Yeah, good job. Uh, the Moy, the Godfather. Yes, yeah. yes. We'll have to play that again once yeah. uh, we're doing board game nights again, Moy. Um, I really enjoyed that game, and it was—I don't know if it was one of the last ones before quarantine happened. It was definitely later in our board game night. Yeah, I know that Mrs. Moy was definitely into it, and yes, Benita, it's my friend's. Friend's birthday, I have to. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I feel like that mm -hmm. um, makes a whole lot of sense to me. Um, I think yeah. Mrs. White won. Fire. Yeah. I think she won The Godfather. Oh, if I remember correctly. M Mrs. Moy, did you win? Let us know. You would remember. K Pax in the house. Hey, K Pax, look at this giant cinnamon stick. Um. We are eating hot pot. This is also a purchase. Uh, this is a recent purchase because we miss hot pot. But we also just have schemes that if we have a hot pot machine, we can invite some friends over in the future when people are vaccinated and things are looking on the up and up. Um, so basically, it's a ploy to get people to come over to our house. Mm -hmm. This is a big advertisement to, for people. Just, just to our friends. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we'll do this. A few times on stream to, uh, in the future. Though. Yeah. We'll have well, to find a good night for it because Wednesday is typically our board game night with our friends. Mm -hmm. I they don't know. Maybe we'll do it every other week. It used to be every other week. So mm -hmm. once we get into the summer, it makes more sense to do it. Every okay. Week. Legends is, is what it says. Um, I will play as well. She at least made me lose. <laughs> Okay, home. Okay, Legends. Okay, update from Legends. Okay, home with pizza. Took a picture. Put it in your nom nom on Discord. Thank yes. you, Legends. I feel like just being a part of that whole um, the unraveling of events. That was I fun. Feel, that was really fun. Yeah. Is this when we stream Legends around this time when we start at eight? Are you are you commuting home? Is that typically the um, is that the order of operations? Um, I need the dark. Um, and then Gaybax, did you pick up another sponsorship with from Wingman Brewers? We did not. We did not. We um, bought it from our, with our, our with our own on money because we enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, Which, by the way, I think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get another cider. Um, we were talking ciders on Benita's chat earlier and I'm eating a pineapple one to, to counteract the, the spicy over here mm. yeah for those who don't know wingman is a local brewery uh, in Tacoma Washington and they're a great great little brewery down by the bus stations um, check them out if you're ever coming through Oh my goodness, okay. Now I'm just like, it, this feels a little bit like show and tell where, I'm, where we're like... Also, drink responsibly. We have to say that. Drink responsibly, <laughs> yes. But this feels a little bit like um, like a show and tell. We're like, look at this new hot pot appliance we have. But I want to show you something really cute. This is our baby's one and only stuffed animal, our stuffy. And it's a it's a karaoke. Um, it's Microphone. A little, it's a karaoke mic. I, wait, I don't want it's to... It's a regular mic, but it's specifically... Wait, hello? Hold on. Uh -oh. don't, don't put it in the soup. This is the, <laughs> this is our, this is the stuffy. This is the only thing that, this is the only stuffed animal or stuffy that our, our baby has. And now he can hold on to things, so we've given it to him. Yeah, today was the first day. I want to see this pizza, Benita. It, 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 it's been, um, we, we did a poll because Legend said his, um, his, what he's going to be eating is dependent on which bus comes first. And we did a poll to figure out what he should eat. It was very fun. I kind of like, maybe I had so much fun with it because maybe it's like me just wanting to like tell people what to do. 
Even though Legends could have, he didn't have to get pizza. That's the thing. Mm. The Moy says the number one game he wants to play once uh, we get back into person is uh, the live action co op. When um, that was uh, what was the name of it? It's the real time one. It's sitting right there. Project Elite. Yes, Project Elite. I can't believe I forgot the name. That was probably one of my favorite games I played last year. New games that I played last year. It was so much fun. It's a, For anyone who doesn't know, it's a cooperative game where uh, it goes in rounds of two minutes. And so it's similar to something like Zombie Side or anything where you're rolling dice to attack bad guys and moving around. But you have unlimited actions in that two minute round uh, that you can do. And every time you do an action, an alien, you have to move an alien closer to your base. And so, um, vaguely that's the rules, but um, it is so frantic because you go super intense for two minutes and then the timer goes off and then all the aliens activate and bad things happen. And so it's like this intense thing and then a break. And then an intense thing and a break. It's really engaging, really fun game. Chame, Chame, Chame. Thank you. It is our first time. This is the maiden voyage of this um, hot pot appliance that we just bought. <laughs> but it's not the first time we've had hot pot. So, thank you. We're really excited about it. Have you had hot pot before? The child will be a karaoke superstar. That's what I hope. I hope that that they are. Um, um, oh, we're getting rated. Into, oh. <laughs> Ruel joining us, yes! Hot, 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 hot! Raid! Hello everyone! We're board game spam! This is the raid idol! I'm trying to get it we away We do analog from alerts! Whoa, whoa, I'm trying to make the raid idol go, like moving go, the go through the steam. Um, the raid idol updates you on what we're doing, and we have been eating hot pot! I'm Pia! <laughs> and I'm Andrew, and we're board game spam! We, um... We discovered the food channel on, <laughs> on Twitch, <laughs> and I've been obsessed. And we also recently purchased this hot pot um, appliance, electric mm -hmm. hot pot. And so, you know, hot pot's a long meal. It can be two, three, four, five hours, depending on who you're with. So we wanted to stream um, us cooking and eating it. <laughs> also, hot pot is the board game of meals. So. Uh, and actually, a couple people were throw were giving us ideas of why it's a, it's a dexterity game because you're trying to like go around and get like the piece like of food you want. So it's also um, what oh, else can someone's just said it still says we're sitting we're playing God's Love. I don't think I hit update. I wrote all our things and updated it all. Oh no, we've um, been tricking people. We've been falsely advertising yeah. <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, uh, you know. We haven't fully cleared off uh, God's Love Dinosaurs. I think one of the pieces is still over oh, there. Oh, so. actually, Paula Deming just did a video about that, right? Like, pieces of, um, <laughs> like, components of board games that you still have out. God's Love Dinosaurs is right on the corner of this table. Mm -hmm. um, Among a couple other pieces that have been left out and mm -hmm. not um, put back. What is it? The sun? <laughs> What's the sun? There's, like, a piece of ore that we still have mm -hmm. from Beyond, Beyond the, the Sun. sun. But if anyone else has other game components that they haven't put away <laughs> Let and us are know. just lingering in their home out and about. Um, yeah, so we're just eating hot pot. Um, oh, also, what were you doing? Oh, yeah. the, it was the tea game, the prosperity. We ju I was pulling oh, it up. Yeah, I wanted to see that. And we'll then, we had the a, we, then we had to put our kid down. But sorry, we're... Um, but welcome raiders and um sorry we we did not advertise correctly what we were doing it was a trick we were eating <laughs> uh ruel says did the raid work it worked you're all here it worked but we might have been um we were the betrayers we were the traitors in the in the on the twitch stream and did not um <laughs> disclose correctly what we were doing also uh panda angel says uh, hot pot is a co-op or no no uh, Sin Strider says it's a co-op game. It is a co-op <laughs> game. Like when you're pulling out the noodles and you can't get it and then someone comes in with the assist. Yeah. Um, Griff Dog corrects and says a semi-co-op game. Semi-co-op, <laughs> that's true. You really, There's some people who don't like family style or don't like co-op, um, not co-op, but don't like um, 
like um, hot pot or family style because they like feel bad asserting themselves when eating and i never understood that because or maybe you're not confident with like chopsticks so you don't get very much food it does it does hot pot is definitely a not a beginner chopstick meal this is this like analogy of a, being a bo the board game of foods uh is actually a really good because um, it's a long game it can be a quick um you know one player game if yeah, but just, there's a solo mode there's a solo mode for hot pot <laughs> there's also um you know you might want um you can also like choose spicy or not spicy mm -hmm. um in the same way that some board games you can choose you know to leave the mean cards in or like Our in the game oceans which we will asymmetrical setup asymmetrical setup sorry now we're all now <laughs> my is brain sauce. is thinking so much about this it's updated now thanks grizzly Diz. uh thanks for letting us know we uh we're definitely doing something different today it's a little bit of an experiment and uh so yeah, sometimes not all the uh not everything works together when we're out of uh I don't know. doing something yeah, different also we different. apologize about the sound because it's we realized once we turned on this machine because this is it's maiden voyage it, we realized it was quite loud and we're like well hopefully it's not so terrible but um <laughs> herbs game but said i i had the same mistake happen yesterday to me yeah the updating part is like one last thing you have to remember um, <laughs> um and uh i think there's a few things that just made me chuckle um yeah, Atomic Jukebox says it's got set up and tear down. <laughs> uh, and Hot Pot game, Hot Pot and Game Night is genius. That would be a long night, uh, but I would love it. That sounds awesome. That sounds like the ultimate like quarantine is is like over, and let's like spend the longest, pick the longest activities with friends. Mm -hmm. Griff Doc says we've we've done fondue and game night. <gasps> Ooh, oh. yeah, fondue is kind of the European hot pot. Um. Um, do you do like savory things and sweet things, Griff Dog, for your fondue? Um, and not just Griff Dog. If anyone's got any, um... oh yeah, what's everyone's? Uh, anyone who who has had hot pot, what's your favorite hot pot item? Or if you like shabu shabu, I know that's like kind of a like. Uh... But do call out if it's shabu shabu. So, yeah, so Andrew... that we know. <laughs> we know the difference. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. yeah, no. Tail it's got a nice soothing bubbling sound. A bit like uh, <laughs> a, a babbling, babbling brook. brook. Good, good. I'm actually, oh. actually there is like um when if if anyone plays RPGs, there are like websites where you could play um or like tabletop RPGs where you can play like music in the background. Or not music, but like sounds like a a coffee shop or like a <laughs> a kitchen. And that makes me feel like like a babbling brook is one and then also like hot pot restaurant <laughs> which is all <laughs> bubbling and then the sound of like chopsticks or something yeah herbs gambit says no fair my chop keeps chopsticks keep crashing into the screen as i try to grab some food <laughs> <laughs> well we'll like you know? we'll like help you out we'll pass it over we'll go like here you go if we were down in la we would definitely invite other streamers over to have mm -hmm. hot pot and do a collaboration actually Herb's Gambit, this is payback because you were talking, um, I think it was you and Book of Nerds were talking about like Al Pastor and um, um, was it Carnitas Tacos or some People were talking food over there. So, you and know. Then, uh, James, James Brazil mm -hmm. says, uh, we love you and your work. And then, <laughs> uh, then they said they had to go to bed. Oh. So thanks for joining us. I always love uh, being able to spend a little time with people, and thanks for spending your time with us. Yeah. Yeah. You're catching us near the end of our hot pot. I see that it's like it's kind of like there's like a bay leaf over here that's like stuck to the side. Maybe we need some yeah, more water in it. Yeah, Andrew and used more. a mix, and then he used some spices that we had and added to it. Um, for those who are new. Or just arrived we told the story earlier but when we were in China someone um, was like gave Andrew a very helpful tip which Andrew loves the Napa cabbages in it um, it just soaks up a lot of the flavor but one of them um, someone we were with like warned Andrew they're like be careful with that and we were like why it's like oh because um, 
it takes up all the like spice and so that's why andrew typically does not feel good after hot pot because he eats exclusively from the spicy section and he eats a lot of napa cabbage and i usually i have a good spice tolerance but um not as good as his but then i realized i have like a like one or two pieces of the cabbage and then oh yeah this is gonna get loud because it's like trying to heat up but um he has a lot of it. <laughs> it was, oh yeah, Legends was the one with carnitas tacos. Shabu Shabu is fantastic with kimchi. Yes, it is. Oh man. Um, the other day we were talking about um, the movie Ratatouille and how there is like a moment where Remy the rat eats like a bit of cheese and a little bit of grape. And then it does like a really cool animation of like two flavors combining. I feel like Korean food and like um, food that like little, little, the small bites in Korean food. Mmm, it's just so good. Mm hmm I love Korean food. I didn't always love Korean food, but um, I <laughs> learned to like it when I lived in, uh, studied abroad in China. There was a big Korea town, and all my classmates were Korean. And actually, I hadn't ever had it at that point. Um, and uh, so I was introduced to it, and then um, kind of all my friends, like the first thing, I, I can't remember what the first thing I had was. I was like, oh, this is okay. And then um, and then they kind of taught me where to start, and then I went way, way deep now. I love all Korean food uh, and kimchi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the Urban Gambit, the taco talk was was very fun on my end, at least. Um, and also finding out that um, your spouse Eunice is a baker. That I love that those details about, and also that um, she got I think uh, like a stand mixer at the start of quarantine. We got this one year into quarantine. I feel like it was our like food purchase similar to getting the stand mixer at the start of quarantine <laughs> we've talked about it a few times up to this point though yeah that's true it, it's sort of an impulse purchase but we have we've talked about getting a korean barbecue grill we have a lot of things basically we just want to recreate eating out at home as much as possible mm -hmm. Hot pot with a special broth, says Sin Strider. Yeah, shabu shabu is typically, let me, I feel like shabu shabu is technically, um. What's the broth base? Um, let me look it up now. Yeah. It's really good. It's, I like the, just the idea of just calling it special broth. K-Packs, <laughs> it's with special broth. Um. It feels, if it, like, hot pot. Yeah, it's a, let's see, um. Hot pot does not feel like a healthy meal. Like, there's a lot of vegetables in it and whatnot, but it's being cooked in this very oily, spicy broth. Kombu. Shabu shabu it's feels Japanese. like a healthy, like, you feel like you're a healthier person after you've eaten it, whether or not it's true. Um, it's called, the broth is made from, I looked it up, but, so I'm not really this smart, but, um, dashi, which is like a, it's like a dried fish that you like you steep to make the broth mm. um but i i should have i i need to be careful what i'm saying because this is the food channel of twitch and i don't want to be saying the wrong thing here people <laughs> it's uh it's very me if I'm it's wrong. very clean tasting yeah but it's similar in nature k-packs because you're doing like the cooking um in the moment on the table typically in a similar bowl usually yeah, I think this technically, this this unit was, um, I think it's, yeah, it says that it's supposed to be a shabu shabu one, but. Mm -hmm. um, Herbs Gamut says Eunice bakes these amazing oatmeal cookies <gasps> and coffee cake. Mm, Ooh, yes. that, actually, oh no, Herbs Gambit, don't say that because I realized we don't really have any plans for dessert. And this is a meal that we usually get like, we're usually when we go get it in Seattle, there's like a couple of boba spots nearby. So it's like you're so full, but you're kind of craving something cold and sweet. I don't know. We don't have a plan for what we're going to eat. Oh, I think we have ice cream. After Maybe. this? Yeah. Oh, or we not got the after. fishes. Oh, we do have little ice cream fish. We got to do that. 
I, um, that sounds weird that they're they're shaped they're ice cream cones shaped like fish with vanilla ice cream and some sweet red bean in it mm -hmm. the moy says i need some a good source for soup dumplings uh for the steamer I got haven't been able to H Mart yet though. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if anyone has any good suggestions for frozen soup dumplings, um, send them to Moy. We'd like to know about it too. Wait, I've been the Instagram has been sending targeted ads to me about soup dumplings, frozen soup dumplings. K Pax fish ice cream, gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, in incorrect. You know, K Pax, I'd try every anything once. If someone was making fish ice cream, then. I would imagine that someone else was eating it, so I'd at least try it, but yeah. Um, fish flavored ice cream. But yeah. fish shaped ice cream, great. Yeah, tastes tail, good. Tail wagon game, so long as the ice cream does not taste like fish. It does not taste like fish. Good night, Panda Angel. Oh, thanks for joining thanks us. Thanks for joining. I just ate, yeah, that that's, I never know the name, so thank you to Live and Dice LA. I just ate Thai Taiyaki for, for dessert tonight, too. Ooh, yeah, yes. we'll have to. I don't know if you're full, Andrew. Um, I'm hitting my. Okay, hitting my... I'm gonna finish these. I do really want these wood ear mushrooms, so maybe I'll finish, finish these off, off yeah. and then we'll show you if you're still around what what this fish shaped ice, ice cream, cream is like. Yeah, I shouldn't be called it fish ice cream, but um, on um, and also welcome to Live and Dice LA. Um, shop. Yeah, I. Oh. We had a follow like uh, 13 minutes ago. Kwai Ju Place, did we? Oh, no, we didn't. Uh, so we thank do analog. You, if you're yeah, still here. <laughs> if you're still here, we're going to do the analog alert anyways. Um, so we do analog alerts here, and this is Dr. Alan Grant. He's over here eating his own hot pot, but he's coming over, and he says, Thank you, Kwai Ju Place. I uh, appreciate the follow. Thanks for joining us for hot pot. I'm enjoying my tiny little bowl over here because I'm a tiny little person, but. I'm Dr. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park, and this is Andrew Pia. Thanks again. <laughs> oh, and a new follow. I win. Uh, I win a night. I win a night. I win a night. <laughs> sorry. If yeah, that's sorry. Wrong. Yeah. Uh, but we tried our best. Yes. So, Welcome. Dr. Alan Grant, you know, he just went back to his bowl. He gets up. He sees you followed. Comes out. Thank you, I went tonight. Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. I'm enjoying some soup over here, and I uh, appreciate you coming and joining us. Thanks again. Uh, oh, Sin Strider, the partition is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is um, this is nice, and I don't know if we'll use it very often, but maybe what we could do, we, we could experiment. And with... we'll we'll use it when we have guests. Because yeah, we're exclusively we eating from eat the, spicy the spicy side, but not everyone we know always eats from the spicy side, so we need to be able to have the option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be cool to experiment too with the broths here. Mm -hmm. But ooh, there's still some meat in there's here. There's a Seattle company that delivers them fifty dumplings for thirty six dollars, but the shipping is twenty five. Oh, they they tease me with the ads. For desserts, I am lucky to have a. <gasps> what? Grip dog. What is what is that? Wagashi artisan, just up the street. <gasps> Jurassic Park is your favorite movie. Andrew loves that movie. I have grown to love it too. I walk down the aisle to the Jurassic Park theme song. <laughs> um, so, it, um. I yeah. This is a real dr alan grant toy from when i played uh played with it's the one i played with when i was a kid um i and, think it, uh, well, it, i think um the jurassic park like um what's it called like theme park opened one year after andrew like his family went there and andrew's like there's a sad picture of andrew in front of the the, the doors and it said like coming next year <laughs> and andrew was just like sad boy <laughs> i mean i don't look sad in the picture i look excited because i was excited but uh, you know, I've never been able to go on the Jurassic Park ride at Universal Studios, so one of these days. Mm -hmm. My one chance. We went a year too soon. Four to places, never had a hot pot. Feel like I have to, though. It's a fun experience. Mm -hmm. We've been the talking. The food's good. The company's good. We've been talking about how it's the board game of foods, because there is. There's many reasons why. I feel like we should compile it because it was a really good 
good collective um, like brainstorm. But mm -hmm. it's a nice meal because it's just really long and we've had a lot of great moments of just catching up with friends because it's between a two to five hour meal if you want to let it like um, last that long. Sorry, I think I'm done, but I kind of want a little bit more. Um, <laughs> There's one last cabbage. I think I'm that scared. might have been that I'm might be an original cabbage. cabbage from I'm scared from, of the cabbage because that that cabbage is probably it's been soaked in there. up all the spices. <laughs> it's been in there for almost the whole time. Ooh, but we're at home. I would definitely recommend it if you ever run it's just a cool experience. Um um because it's it's just like it's not something you can have all the time, but you could in theory. That would be Andrew's dream. Um, it would not be my dream to have this all the time. I would feel you would have. I guess you have a dream I to would have feel very access bad. to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, if you're near a big city, you, there's probably a hot pot place if you look it up. Um, if you're not near a big city, then but in China, good luck. <laughs> a Andrew was saying that in China you'll go to a hot pot place and there's just like a like the whole room is just like steam, like steam towers just like going up because they usually have these like vents at the top and it's just really i've um we've gone to some hot pot places in china it's been really fun mm -hmm. um little sheep which is in seattle recently closed which is really sad because that's an international um an international chain but when we were in china recently the the one of the popular ones in the area we were in was called Heidi Lao and they I'm totally botching the pronunciation I'm sure but they have like a noodle dancer where they like ha they grab the noodles and they like do a dance and they whip it around and um and then they have these hand um stretched noodles I guess is the term mm -hmm. but so good so yeah. good Heidi Lao if you're ever in China uh traveling go there they're hot pot it's it's a whole experience they've got like a uh uh, oh my god! Like a massage parlor yeah. or something. So in the waiting room, you can get massages no, no, in the waiting room. No, right? no, there is a there's like a spa where you can get your nails done. There is like a a ch like a children's um like play place, kind of like IKEA if that makes sense. Like where you can drop off your kids and they can run around and play while you wait in line. And you're not really waiting in line. You there's like different waiting rooms. Um, because it's just really popular, so I think they just try to figure out a way to um, keep people occupied while they're waiting for their turn. But it was really good. We I did some volunteering in China, and that was the place that at the end of the volunteer like term, um, some of the local staff were like allowed to select a place to like celebrate the end of the volunteer term, and they were like, "Can we go to Heidi Lao, please?" But. Right. Oh yeah, all the tags, co-op, engine building, dexterity, never, <laughs> can never go wrong with hop. hop you know, can hop. someone- yeah. It's so true. Can it's... someone get that up on Board Game Geek? Cause that would be great. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a new follow. Uh, Wrath of Galanda. Uh, welcome Wrath. Welcome Wrath. This is, so we do analog alerts here. This is Dr. Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. He comes up, he's eating his hot pot down here. He's about finished. He comes up and says, thank you, Wrath of Galanda. Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate uh, taking your time and coming to hang out with us. Hope to see you more. Yeah. Uh, so I just grabbed our dessert. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty awesome. I have to try this. I live in a rural area, so no hot pots close, but might try my hands in making one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a really fun meal. And um, these are sold on Amazon, the, the hot pot pots. But uh, I guess you could technically online. just stand, like set up your, like set up an eating station next to your mm -hmm. like stove and just like. I think most of the special ingredients you could order online pretty easily. So yeah, because uh, Andrew used a, like a hot pot packet and then he added extra spices based off of it. And they like, I think the base we used is some chicken broth. Mm -hmm. um, so but you can get ginger, star anise uh cloves uh the most the the numbing peppercorns from sichuan um that's probably maybe the hardest thing to maybe to find. get like some good ones to get good ones yeah mm -hmm. but it's it's fun it's definitely i had never tried hot pot until andrew brought me um because he loves hot pot mm -hmm. and i've always enjoyed it i always just feel like it's such a special it's such a special meal um because it's long 
Um, it's just like just unique flavors. Yeah. And then this is the teyaki. This, this is, is the the, the not the, fish ice cream, but the, the fish, fish ice cream. The fish shaped ice cream. <laughs> so we're gonna share this actually. Yeah. It's, it's so good. K packs. So well, next food. time, um, you next time we're at the Korean market, maybe we'll grab one. Um, Blue. Blue. Oh man, Blue. what if I don't know if Ruel's Blue. still here, but Ru, what Blue. if Ruel's Felicia the Follow Fish was oh, a Felicia teyaki. the Follow Fish <laughs> was a teyaki. Uh, you should definitely if Ruel's <gasps> still here. High eclectic camel. <laughs> Ruel, yeah. if you're still here, please get one of these for. Uh, <gasps> so he has to eat one every <laughs> time. Because <laughs> the thing is, once he takes it out of the refrigerator or the freezer, he yeah. cannot he cannot eat one each time. Um, I mean, not every time he gets a follow, <laughs> but, you know, he'll have to get, like, maybe three by the end of the stream. Um, Eclectic Camel, what have, what have you been up to? I hope you're doing well. Um, is it fish flavored as well? No. Vanilla with sweet red bean, which I know sometimes throws some people off if they're not familiar with red bean. But it's just like a sweet, earthy taste. Mm -hmm. Sweet, earthy taste. Yeah. Usually, especially with people who, who always... Or not always, but connect beans with something salty. Mm -hmm. Sweet red bean kind of throws people off. Which, in Benita's stream the other day, we were talking avocados. Or no, it wasn't Benita's stream. Maybe it was Amanda's stream. We were talking about avocados. And when I grew up, <laughs> avocados I want teriyaki. <laughs> avocados was always a sweet dish in the Philippines. Sorry, I should just take a bite. Yeah, I was like, if you're not going to do it, it's going to melt. It's hot in here. Um, with, it, with all this steam. But I never realized that guac or not guacamole but like avocado is prepared in savory dishes until i moved to the u.s so that's the um the ice cream and then the red bean <laughs> it's very good if you like ice cream you'll probably like this unless you get thrown off by red bean but Oh, Sinstrider said you can experiment with different broths too. Tomato base is surprisingly good. Oh, I need to look up a tomato base broth. That sounds really good. For hot pot? Yeah. Yeah, there was a few of those at the store. And I, I haven't actually had tomato based hot pot. Mm -hmm. But it did sound good. I was wondering about it. I just also like how hot pot, I think with meals, like usually, I mean, people cook together, right? But sometimes... It's just kind of nice to be like all you have to do is kind of assemble all the stuff wash the veggies and just kind of set it out and then all the cook time is spent with people all the eating time is spent with people so yeah board at home if you can i highly recommend it kwaiju says they have an oreo taiyaki what that also, sounds awesome also kwaiju said that um a whole new meaning to buy felicia <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like bye bye felicia and you're like huh? <laughs> I wish Ruel was here to hear this. <laughs> All these good ideas. Love red azuki bean paste in desserts. I agree. Mm -hmm. There's it's um, so good. I like it because it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. Yeah, you're not a big sweets fan. Mm -hmm. um, um, Griff Dog, have you ever gotten the red bean um, desserts from... Oh my gosh, I'm totally blanking now. It's a it's a bakery in Seattle, and oh man, I lost it. I really can't remember. There's a bakery in Seattle with really good. I'm mean, this will just have to pause for now, and I'll have to look it up. Um, a bakery with good what? You remember? Red bean paste desserts. Hmm. Yeah. I you don't know. you don't remember because. I work in Seattle area, South Seattle. So then, um, the I the, I get coffee and sweets there. Mm. I can't really remember the sponsorship opportunity by Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> I love yes. that atomic jukebox. Ninety five degrees, not from there, but I do like um, desserts from there. Um, Actually, it was funny because my my family members just kept buying these desserts and they never, they just kept saying, it's from a place 
that's hot. And I was like, what? And I kept asking them like what the restaurant is called. And they're like, it's a hot place. It's a hot place. And then I realized they were caught. They're talking about 85 degree. Um, oh. <laughs> dessert degrees desserts. It's a hot place. Like they didn't. They wanted. They didn't want to like. Oh, think I remember about, going there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They didn't want to think about the name. They mm -hmm. just knew that it was like a temperature of some sort. Yeah, that was the last time they were here before the pandemic. Um, but legend him mm, full. He's done. Legends. You you mirrored our meal. Legends. How did it? Um, was it good? Did the did the chat steer you in the right direction? That pizza you talked about sounded really good. I love garlic and pizza. Um, azuki paste is a common ingredient in wagashi. Oh man. Now I'm gonna have to look that up. Griff dog. Legends DM says he always goes through Seattle airport when he when he flies to Nebraska. Mm. When they when they fly to Nebraska. That's awesome. Yeah, the uh SeaTac Airport's solid airport. They've got good some good food options in there. But the Beanfish Taiyaki food truck makes great stuff. Oh my uh, goodness. Yeah, I'm pulling this up. That is awesome. Ooh. This looks so great. Griff Dog, you have such great um, suggestions for food. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I am so full right now. <laughs> Bones John, Bones John, we just finished cooking. We just finished. We're making hot pot. And we're eating dessert now. And then Chima asked if we like dim sum. Yes. Uh, yes, we love dim sum. So there's uh, going to be a Harbor Harbor City opening in Tacoma next Ooh. month. Whoa. Uh, yeah, very excited for, I mean, we have very little dim sum in Tacoma. Mm -hmm. We go up to Seattle for it's it. Mostly Seattle, yeah. There was one place for a short while uh, that did dim sum on the weekends. I have a lot of good memories as a child going to birthday parties at Harbor <laughs> Cities. Also, Legends DM is uh, thanking the chat for steering <laughs> him in the right direction to get his pizza. Uh, for anyone who's just joining us, Legends DM was on a mission to get dinner, and we did a poll to help guide him what he should get. Uh, he got pizza. I think any I think any of the things would have been good. Yeah. But we are eating taiyaki, right? I, I always, I know that it's very close to the octopus dish and I just, I'm like very afraid Taki that I'm, I'm, I'm very afraid that I'm going to say the wrong thing. But I also said the wrong thing. I said it was fish ice cream, yeah. but it's fish shaped ice cream. It's Samanco uh, brand. <laughs> and From our H Mart. Yeah. <laughs> it's red bean with ice cream and... Uh, and then a cone, a fish shaped cone on the outside. Um, I feel really bad because I bought some of these and like I didn't tell Andrew I had them and I was just eating them. And I think he was notified that we had it in our freezer. Um, probably there's only two left or one left. And he was like, what? And I, I was like, you don't usually like dessert. So I didn't feel like you needed to know. <laughs> also, it's in the freezer. You can see it if you want it. <laughs> Bone John, that's what was pudding. Did we say something about pudding? Um, what was pudding? What was pudding? I'm not sure what was pudding. We didn't have any pudding. We did have really, really good pudding in Vietnam once. It was oh, house, it was really good. House made pudding. It was pretty amazing. Andrew. I never, I, I realized when I had that pudding, what store-bought pudding is trying to imitate. In the same way that like grape flavoring is imitating grapes. And poorly, right? And like it's in, yeah, in a in a in in a not way. It's a that shadow. Ho that house made pudding was like on a completely different level than anything. Andrew, I've never been excited about pudding before, but I am still excited about that pudding. It was part of like a all you can eat buffet situation. So Andrew ate a lot. Both of us ate a lot of this pudding. We loved it so much that we recorded a video of Andrew opening this pudding. Because we were so hyped about this pudding. So, Bonjean, I don't know if you were asking about pudding, but that's our pudding story. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, also, Mrs. Moy says, with all this food talk, H Mart is 100% in our future this weekend. All right. <laughs> uh, we will suggest a pairing. H Mart is great. Get your ingredients for a meal later. But while you're there, there's a place called Barbecue Chicken House. It's, right? Yeah, it doesn't, yeah uh, it doesn't indicate that it's Korean. It's just barbecue chicken. It's just this barbecue chicken on the front. 
and uh, so go good. there and get some fried chicken because it's really good. It's all very flavored. Uh, a and lot of flavoring tasty. on it. And, and very, really very, good very, texture. Very, yeah. Oh, and Bon John says, in England, pudding and dessert are the same thing. <gasps> oh, okay. Wait, so Bon John, what is the 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 term for cookies i feel like there was a word is is cookies biscuits in the uk i i'm sure i could look it up but much i want you to answer it <laughs> tricky 20 says we need another ramen and kung fu movie night yes <gasps> uh so one thing that i've been trying to convince pia of is so on twitch you can do watch parties, so everyone who has Amazon Prime can watch a movie. We would be on the screen, and then everyone at home would also be watching the movie. And I've been wanting to do a kung fu movie. Because uh, Andrew loves kung fu movies non-ironically, yes. by the way. Yes. You love them. But... Anyways, so tell us what you think about that in chat, <laughs> in chat or next time I see you. Um, also, the... I've been trying to convince Pia. She's worried... Well, here's the thing. The rest of the he, internet and he, racists no, 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 will show up, which no, I, I think that's, that's fair. But the 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 bigger issue is that the last time we watched a kung fu movie at our apartment, we got a noise, just a little reminder about the noise because we were screaming. We're like, oh, no way! <laughs> and I'm I'm concerned about that more. But anyways. Uh, Bone John said cookies are cookies in England, but oh. we also have biscuits, which someone told me uh, Americans also call cookies. <laughs> <laughs> that um, is, yeah, that's super interesting. I, I, I just think terms for things are very interesting. Mm -hmm. Pudding is dessert. That's nuts. Anyways. All right, Kwaiju says good night, friends. Thank yeah, you for thank you joining, for joining us. us. And then Herbs and Game, oh, there's a barbecue chicken uh, block from my house. Yes. And I've never gone since the name is so normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, Herbs and Gambit. We suggest it. Uh, it is a chain, but it seems like one of those chains that there might be like one or two in a larger city. Uh, maybe LA has more, but well, it just reached us. So we're, we're excited about it. It's exactly, I think you had the same thing, like thing happen with us where I was like, that's a weird, like that used to be a karaoke spot. And I was like looking at it. And then when I was wa walking through the, the H Mart parking lot, there's, er there's a bunch of people eating food in their car. And I was like, this is a grocery store. Like, where are they getting the food? And then, um, we were getting groceries and someone had point had said that that Korean um, um, uh, barbecue place was really good and it had a really boring name. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I do know where that is. Herbs Gamma says, I'll make it a point to get the barbecue chicken when my office opens in August. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. They do, um, they do take out and delivery too, but uh, definitely if it's convenient to leave place near your office it's a, mm -hmm. probably it'd be a it'd be a heavy lunch but it would be a good one <laughs> that would be a very like you're that's like <laughs> you're, you're gonna have a, a lunch and you're gonna have leftovers too because it's a lot of chicken mm -hmm. um board game feast in australia chips are also chips like fries and crisps are both called chips oh okay oh yeah. in, in australia chips are also chips all right well we probably are wrapping Whoa. things up um right yeah, yeah that was I, great thank you for joining <laughs> us thank you for being um but let's raid someone let's raid someone thank um, you for being not patient but um for bearing with the the sound quality because when the the delicious spicy broth was bubbling and our mic was picking it up <laughs> um but, All right, let's uh, let's see who's on. Um, we are going to be streaming tomorrow with our friend Big Heap Wampum. If you've seen our forgiveness moment alert, you have seen him um, before, <laughs> and he is um, going to be playing the Godfather with us. We were talking earlier about two-player games that, in terms of um, area control, just not really having the same bite when it's two-player. I'm excited to play it three-player. Um, yeah, the Godfather, a, uh, uh, a favorite of, um, the Moy and Mrs. Moy. All right. I'm thinking, 
We got someone else doing uh, some beta testing for a game, which kind of sounds interesting. Um, what do what looks interesting to you, Pia? Mm. Not a ton of people on right now. Yeah. Anybody got fun chat? Yeah, thanks for dropping in, Griff Dog. And thanks for being here, Board Game Feast. <laughs> the sound is fine other than make, than making me drool. <laughs> nice to meet you, I win a night. All right. Can't yeah. wait to see you in chat as well. We're gonna jump we're gonna <laughs> jump into uh stream over here. Uh give him a good raid welcome. Yeah. And we let's go. Yeah. Here we go. Thanks for joining us, Tail Wagon Games. <laughs> Sorry, you're <laughs> snacky, Mrs. Moy. <laughs> Slumber snack is on. Oh. And here we go. Oh, someone had a suggestion, but oh, we missed shoot. it. It's okay. We just missed it. <laughs> 